The First Amendment in the United States Constitution ensures that the people of the United States have a right to religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, and freedom to assemble together. Now, over the years, we have seen the Supreme Court limit those freedoms. And in this video, we'll be discussing a specific limitation, which are the curfew laws that are often imposed by different state and local officials on the people while they protest. Curfew laws are being imposed throughout the United States. And the question becomes, are they even constitutional? In order to answer that question, I decided to pick a case from California that dealt with 1992 riots. The case is from the appellate court, the people versus Juan C., who was a minor. And here's what happened in this case. On April 29, 1992, there was general civil disorder throughout the LA County. There was riots, looting, arson, and general violence throughout the county. The following day, Long Beach city manager imposed a curfew law because he declared a local emergency. In these cases that deal with speech and assembly, it is crucial to read the actual curfew law in order to understand and evaluate if that law is actually constitutional. And here's what the curfew law said in this case. No person shall be upon the public streets, avenues, alleys, parks, ways, or any other public place or upon unimproved private real property between the hours of 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. within the city of Long Beach. The law enforcement forces of this city, along with other law enforcement authorities cooperating with the city, are hereby authorized and charged to the extent provided by the law within the responsibility of enforcing this curfew and are further authorized to arrest such persons as do not obey this curfew after due notice oral or written has been given to said person. A violation was punishable by a misdemeanor. Now the curfew also gave an exception. Police officers, firefighters, medical personnel, and authorized media were allowed to stay past the curfew time. The facts of the case are rather simple. Juan, who's 14, is standing on the corner with his friend in a small mini mall. An officer arrives and tells him that it's 11 p.m., all the businesses are closed, and that he needs to go home. A curfew is in place. Juan answers that he lives close by and still remains standing on the corner. So the officer tells Juan that it doesn't matter that he lives close by, he in fact needs to go home. The curfew is in place. So then Juan decided to just stare at the officer and not leave. The officer told him that what does he need to do or say to Juan in order to make him leave. When Juan decided not to respond and keep standing there, the officer arrested him. He was charged with violation of the curfew and eventually sentenced to six months home probation. Juan now appeals and says that the whole curfew is unconstitutional. First, we have to evaluate the curfew statute and see if it's overbroad. Under this doctrine, we're gonna look at what exactly does the curfew restrict? What type of speech? This court tells us that this particular curfew statute deals with conduct and more specifically movement. It does not regulate speech. But of course, when we restrict movement, we incidentally regulate speech. So this curfew statute deals with the time, place, and manner under which we exercise our freedom of speech. Namely, there's time limits and places that will be closed under after 7 p.m. The court then tells us that the right to travel in the United States is a fundamental right under the United States Constitution. But even that freedom can be limited when there is disease, flood, or fire, or general welfare of the people is at risk. So then the court has to balance the freedom of discussion and movement against the government's interest in preserving life and property. 
the Long Beach curfew did not violate the Constitution because it gave a specific time when the curfew would be in place. It existed only during the emergency. People were not discriminated because it was a blanket rule across the board and it did not target certain groups of people. And individuals were given notice before they would be arrested. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so next time I post you'll be first to know, and comment below, let me know how do you feel about these curfew laws. And if you were the judge, how would you evaluate this restriction on speech? I'm interested in your comments, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.